Scott. Hey kids, you like fishes? <laughs> And uh, this is what I have to do on a Monday morning. And you can see here outside now, we peep our beautiful display of Rubbermaid totes. That's for a project coming very soon. You're gonna have to stick with it and stay tuned and hit that subscribe button to follow us along. Um, I'm gonna go find where Scott is because I'm not doing this alone. It is just so hot outside. Scott has to come feel my pain. Scott! What? You gotta come outside. Why? You gotta help me. It's hot out. You're gonna, help. You're gonna help with the plants. Oh, uh, have you guys seen what is happening with the plants right now? Come check this out. Right, let's go. This is all the plants we have, but not really. This is what you see. This is what we have. So if you don't know, about three weeks ago, I called up Dawson. And I'm like, Dawson, we need plants. Not just a little bit of plants, but I need a lot of plants. Dustin was like, I got you covered. So we get this box. It was decently full, but not great. We started really filling up. Then we get another box. And then about a week goes by, we get six boxes in one shot. Six boxes in one shot. Joe is like filling this entire thing. We beyond fill the whole thing. And now, because we have so many excess of plants, the rest of them are all outside. All right, Joe this morning went through and put every single one of these stalks together to give these like a nice little bundle. Now these are gonna head back up, back into the boat, and we're gonna even fill that boat even more than what it is now. We cleared some out over this weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. We can see how great these look. Fantastic. Now let's check this out. So the cool thing about this thing is, with this store being so large, we were able to put in a backyard and with this backyard we're doing something i always wanted to do ladies and gentlemen we're gonna start the introduction to our koi section allie what are you doing oh you know just dreaming about my new pool <laughs> No, but really, I mean, look how big these things are. They're huge. I think they're what, 300 gallons? 300 gallon tubs. Which is just awesome. I mean, so cool. I can swim in it. So you can't see much now. All you see is tubs lined up. And it's just the idea. So the back, the idea back here is I want to be able to put a large pond back here with koi ponds and different vats. We're going to take all these vats between the 150s and 300s, bring them against the wall. We're gonna then raise them up on center blocks and put port one massive central system on this. We're actually gonna run these with a reef raiders, 20,000 liter pump and right through the whole thing off the back wall. On the back of that, we can then use a UV sterilization system and then bring like an awning off them to kind of keep any sort of sunlight directly off the koi. Now this is just the start of it. So we're really, even though we're getting late in this year, I wanna be able to start building this so we can really get it ready for next year. And then down this center section, yet again, you can't see much to raise these up off a of cinder box, put this on its own separate system, and then we can get into pond plants. I'm pretty excited about it. This is something I always wanted to do. All right, guys, now that you've seen the koi section, we're going to go in and check out the fish. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fish room. As you can see, our fish room is a million times bigger than our freshwater and saltwater were at the old store. Uh, right over here is my saltwater tanks. As you can tell, we're still working on them. There's still some construction going on, and I still have a few empty tanks. But all together in our fish room, between freshwater and saltwater, we have 80 tanks. 80 tanks, that's so many tanks. Uh, so that means a lot of work. So between me and Joe and everybody else here, we're doing a lot of work every day, making sure everything gets clean and looks good for you guys. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, folks. It's been an absolute 12 seconds later. Like, long time since we've been in front of the camera. But we are here at the new store now. It has been a ginormous process. Not too much time to really uh, film as we were building the store. But we're here now. Stuff is still getting built out, like Ali said. Uh, today, we're basically going to explain to you what goes into uh, keeping uh, all these fish here. I have over 60 
two freshwater aquariums in this location here in the garage at the new store. And it's a lot of water changes. I'm literally doing water changes all the time. So if you come in, excuse the host, I'm sorry. I got to take care of all these fish for you guys. So I'm basically going around once a week on every tank, sometimes more, a 50% water change on these guys, adding a dechlorinator and neutral regulator to maintain pHs and um, different other products depending on what type of fish it is. Uh, that's how we basically go through and we're sucking out all the detritus and uneaten foods and poops and things like that because we do feed a little bit heavier here to make sure that you guys are getting a healthy specimen when you come in and pick something out. We treat everything with medications in their food or in the water, whether we're using copper or metronide is all in their food. All good quality, high grade frozen foods from Hakari. And uh, this is the fisher. Take a look. Our new saltwater system. This is a little bit different than before. Last time at the old store, we did very based on the 20s and then we had a big 220. We brought the 220 back here, but instead of going 20s, we went with bigger tanks. We went with 29s. I wanted to give the fish a little more height and I also like that eye view. I like the way it looks looking up on it and I wanted some height right here. Now, is this system finished yet? No, it's up and running, but we're still doing like a lot of the woodwork. All and the that's, facade. Yeah, all the facades coming out slowly but surely. You can see we did all the lighting. If you didn't know, for the most part, any lighting that was done in the store was all done by Current USA. I really like the way the lights look. I really like the way the fish look under the lights. We did that throughout this whole saltwater system and in the fish system. But the biggest thing is right here, we're kind of pushing some bigger fish like the Emperor Angel and the Porcupine and a 40 gallon tank. Really, honestly, we need much bigger tanks than that. So that's what the new section's up for. So we're gonna put in the 220, the original 220 at the store, and then we're putting in a 150. We're gonna make this one big system for bigger fish. We're gonna keep this still copper based so we can kind of put the bigger fish in there based on copper, but things that are tough on copper after they go through it, like puffers and things like that, we don't like to do long term on copper. We're gonna bring that back here. We're gonna set this 125 up just for those fish. We're running no copper in this system. So it's kind of kind of cool where you can see such a massive salt water section. I mean, by the time this is all said and done, this is just gonna be huge. Scotty, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have been following us along since the very beginning at the old store, you know that the freshwater system upstairs was very limited. I had like 20, 29 gallon tanks upstairs. So what we could carry in the store was very, very, very limited. Now with this whole wall, I think it's like 26 or 27, 40 gallon breeder aquariums. I'm able to carry so many different diversity in fish larger fish species for you guys that like the monster fish. We can get them in a smaller size, house them here for a temporary time for you guys to come here and pick them out. So we got bigger things like large parrot fish. Those are the King Kong parrots. Uh, we got cool things like freshwater tarpons, big silver dollars, big rainbow fish. If you look up here, things like oddballs, like flagtail procolotus. Those are awesome. One of my favorites. Uh, we're able to keep a ton more in stock, especially like lots of neon tetras, you know, whole big tanks from rummy noses, uh, big severums. Uh, we had a big super red in here before we actually just went out the other day, but we're able to just keep so many more exotic fish. I got awesome Florida spotted gar in here and a gigantic super red pike stick. Let's check this guy out. Woo! Look how red he is. Hey, buddy. Wee! So being able to move to a bigger space at this new store, we're able to do a much more diversity in fish for you guys, especially the freshwater clientele. And we're seeing that already, okay? All these are basically all community fish. You got your live bearers, uh, smaller rainbow fish, things like that. Uh, Nano tetras, smaller barbs. And then on the other side, if you come over here, woo! Run. 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 We're able to offer even a greater diversity. So these three tanks right here are going to be like our shrimp sauce and vertebrate tanks. I do have a bunch of cherry shrimp that just came in up there right now. Um, and we're kind of just like getting into the swing of things. Not all the lighting's here like uh, Scott mentioned before. All the lighting on the freshwater systems is going to be by Current USA. There's strip LEDs. So we got some different like crayfish and a whole bunch of guppies right here. And then this section eventually will be all African cichlids. So we're going to have nine 30 gallon long 
tanks dedicated to African cichlid species for you guys to come in. And then at the very end, for the children, guys, this is a ginormous selection of glowfish, probably one of the biggest I've ever seen in the fish store. I can't think of anywhere else that I've seen this many glowfish in one place. So many different colors and diversity for you guys to come in and get your kids involved with the hobby. They like that color, that pop. Uh, so we're able to offer that for you guys now. I think this would have filled our whole fish room at the old place. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching, tuning in to today's video and all of our videos, allowing us to build something so big for you. Let's, uh, let's go check the display tanks. Alright guys, so one thing we did not have at our old location that we have now is display aquariums. We wanted you guys to have inspiration when you walk in to the new store. So we have these dual two big 220s as you can see here and a water box pencil over there and a 150 low boy right here and a water box 20 and there's one more. But wait, there's more. And a water box 220 reef display. That's going to be the new show tank. All right, guys, so now we're going to kind of get wait, into... Wait, 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 wait. There's one more tank you forgot. Oh. The mini tank. It came back. Look at the little sexy shrimp. Pretty sexy. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so like Joe said, we now have a bunch of display tanks, and it doesn't stop just in there. We still have to take care of these tanks, too. So every week, all these tanks get water changes. Uh, we have specific days that each tank gets water changes done. Um, Joe usually does those, too. I take care of the salt water, and then we kind of split the rest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the work doesn't stop just at the fish we sell. We also have to take care of all these guys, too, and make sure they look perfect. Okay, so in our saltwater display tank, we have a lot of big fish and a lot of fish that eat a lot of meaty foods, so they, in turn, create a lot of waste. So we had to make sure we had a nice big filtration system on here. And also, with our skylights, we have skylights in our ceiling, a lot of sunlight gets to this tank, so we have a nice big uh, UV sterilizer on there that's running 24-7. We have a nice huge uh, coral box skimmer in there and coral box return pump as well. So these tanks are ran by reef breeders all around the skimmer the pump and the lighting and so same thing over here except there's no skimmer on a freshwater tank reef breeders lumen bars and return pump down in the sump as well so when you guys think of a freshwater aquarium setup typically you're not on a sump you're on hobs hangout back filters or canister filters on our display aquariums we actually went with sump filtration and our uh, low boy is on a uh, canister filter. So we have like the best of both worlds. Here on our big two, uh, two uh, what is this, 210? 220. Two, 220, 210. But with the sump, I don't know, it's like 260 or something like that. So here you can see everything kind of uh, overflows down through micron socks across a uh, porous media surface. This is shredded PVC through some carbon, some media bags. Um, and that's basically the filtration system here and then it returns back up to the display and through a UV sterilizer Like Ali mentioned before on the saltwater system We get a ton of natural sunlight with the big display windows over here and the skylights So you're gonna make sure this is staying clean and algae free And then over here on our peninsula This one gets water changes a little bit more because there are more sensitive fish in here There are angels and discus in here um, And there is also no UV sterilization so it gets a bit more algae so I'm in here sometimes once or sometimes twice a week doing uh, like a 35% water change on this tank. Same idea, micron socks to a uh, porous media. Um, and there's actually sponge filters in the bottom as well for beneficial bacteria to grow. So this is the whole water box 180 Peninsula setup. The new style looking absolutely fantastic. And it's it's by AI crystal Primes. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Mm -hmm. You can see right through it. Hold on, let me go on the other side. <laughs> Look guys, I'm in the tank. Hi. 
<laughs> so now, if you follow me on over this way, when you come in the front entrance at the new OSC, we have some more display aquariums here. It's tough to see right now on this bottom one with the glare, uh, but this right here is a 150 mixed African cichlid and barb aquarium. Uh, there's some Cynodonis catfish in there too, red tail shark. This is powered by CJ. We got two CJ 500 whale canister filters on this aquarium, absolutely powerhousing this tank. And of course, I had to do the bubbles. Scott loves the bubbles. Gotta have the bubble. <laughs> and then now here we have a display, a water box 20 gallon cube. Uh, this is something here you can do with some easy community fish, some different oddballs, super easy planted aquarium. We got some big species of Anubius butter right in there, Java fern window leaf, um, super cool, colorful, interactive. The guppies are always ready uh, to, to kind of interact with you guys. Super cool the tank, and there's some oddball species in here too. Check out this little guy, look how cute he is. So cute. Mexican dwarf crayfish just chilling. There's some mystery snails in here as well. Uh, so this is kind of like showing you guys you can do that. If you're huge into the salt water, you can have a small little freshwater aquarium. Try it out, get a little small light, do some easy plants that grow great. Uh, or if you're a beginner and want to get into it, same thing. And then of course the beta bowls as well. So there's a lot of different display things around. And duty calls, is going to answer the phone. All right, my salty friends, I'm sorry I'm boring you with freshwater stuff and the display aquariums. We're going to head on over into New England's largest selection of aquaculture frags and corals, and we're going to bring you along with Salty Alley, and she's going to show you what we got in store. Let's go. All right, guys, so in here is my favorite part, of course. This is the coral room. So we have six of these six foot by 30 inch by 12 inch tanks, which are super awesome. I love them because they're deeper, so you get a little bit more we raised them up really high too so they're just kind of like right in your face and I love that I love that about these um, everything is up on racks still just like the old store we got the um, everything organized by price as well so each tank uh, is organized by a price so these are $60 these are $50 then we got 20 30 40 and then the most expensive stuff in that last tank right there we got all sorts of really 80 nice 120 tools. 150 300 and on up and then this time we also went and we put some anemone tanks in. So these are dedicated just for anemones. Right now we have some random oddballs in there just for now, for space reasons, but we will have it all figured out eventually. As soon as we can get more stuff in, we will have these packed with all sorts of anemones. So in here is our bubble tip anemones, and we got some rock flowers in there hiding. These are um, aquaculture bubble tips from yes, the farm. Yes, these are aquaculture bubble tips from the farm. And then right over here is our invert system, which really didn't change too, too much from the old store. Uh, it's the same kind of setup, but uh, we got a nice huge sump on it this time. We used to have it on, I think it was a 75 gallon. Yep. And now we have it on a 125. Lots more live rock for yeah, you guys. Yeah, lots of live rock, um, and a lot more water volume, and a lot of clownfish, which actually we need more. <laughs> Hi, my friends. I think I see Nemo Alley. Oh no. Is that Nemo in there? <laughs> you found him? I think so. And right on over here is one of my favorite tanks, which is just super, super cool. This is a custom aquarium by Planet Aquariums. It's an eight by four foot tank, and it is super cool. We're gonna be doing all sorts of really cool, nice big colonies on there. There's gonna be leathers and other sand dwelling corals, like trachees, scullies, and all sorts of awesome stuff like that. And then right here in the middle, we got some little baby mangroves. Hopefully they'll grow out and look awesome. And right over here we got our 220 gallon water box aquarium. This is going to be dedicated just to really just big colonies. So at the old store we had the 180 that had the racks, the racking system, and we had coral colonies on there. This is just our new style we're trying to go with. We're going to go a little more natural with the rocks. We did all shelving rock in there. And excuse the appearance, but it's going through its ugly stage. Just like all new tanks do, they go through that ugly stage. Right under here we're going to be running a refugium in there. We got some shado already growing in there. So as Joe said earlier, we got a brand new display aquarium as well for our reef tanks. Uh, at the old store, we had a 130 water box. We've upgraded to a 220 gallon water box. We got some awesome fish in there. Those are actually from someone's tank, so they're long-term captive, doing really, really well in there. They were great for us to get the tank going and started. Uh, right in there, we have a nice big Vortec return pump and a quantum skimmer in there. We've just got some new corals in there. We're just trying to see how they're doing. We're starting with just a few corals, pretty easy stuff, stuff that's hardy and seeing how it's doing. And then as things go on, we'll add more 
and more until it's packed, just like the old one. All right, guys, and if I have not infiltrated you enough with freshwater stuff, yeah, that's right. Adjacent from the coral room is our inspiration room, the wood room, whatever you want to call it. This is where we keep all of our dry stock of like woods and different types of rocks and whatever. This is kind of like the catch-all room. Eventually, I'm going to have um, all of our planted uh, substrates and additives in here as well. But this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the Beta Mansion wall. We're going to have a bunch of different types of larger base style stuff, kind of like what's on the low wall now, but they're going to be dry. Uh, not set up uh, for you to kind of like pick and choose which one you want to do for your uh, desk or office or your home or for your kid's bedroom. Uh, and then eventually we're going to have probably right here actual whole big beta setup uh, where I'll be able to house like 100, 150 different types of betas for you guys to come pick out. So this is the wood room. And I mean, this is kind of a little boring, but this is the gondola. This is where we have all of our fish foods and different type of filtration media products like our Max Out Pro. Uh, we also got the glues and different types of things like that as well. Feeding tongs, algae wafers, these big long ice cap coral feeding things. These things are awesome if you're short like me. You if need you're to really feed your short, corals. <laughs> these work really well. You know, like mag float stuff. All the Hikari foods. Um, I really like the Viber Bites. Mm -hmm. These are really good. If you want your fish to be vibrant. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the gondola. And can't forget the good old Coral Max. Highly recommend for your corals. Coral Max is a unique custom blend formulated from naturally occurring marine planktons and marine organisms. <laughs> <laughs> just three low payments of fifteen ninety seven. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, in case you need to relax in the coral room and think about your decisions for your new reef tank. You can relax here in this chair and uh, sit next to a bunch of boxes of the uh, beautiful RPM Fritz Reef Salt. Uh, or, I mean, if you really want to, you can sit here too and chill out. And then, of course, we got the, what we call the coffee bar. Grab a stool, have a chat with us here, talk about your tank or your day, whichever you need. We can be therapists if you want. Um, and then here, is all of our CJ and Coral Box return pumps and different types of power heads, Neptune systems, AI hanging lights, things like that. We got that. filter socks. We and got filter socks, yep, yeah, hanging kits. Neptune, we've got tons of Coral Box protein skimmers, and we've got your power heads, your filters, your heaters, and everything you need. Hold on. Oh, you you, you want to do this one for too? Oh, 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 got some hops. Shorty. <laughs> And of course, for you guys, we set up all of our display aquariums that are for sale with a decoration, whether it's wood with artificial plants or different types of rocks and everything. We, of course, have to have a ginormous slat wall full of all these beautiful artificial plants. So you guys can come in and pick out all different colors. And we got these beautiful bins right here made by our good friend Fred with our Dragonstone, Serious Stone, and of course, my favorite. Milling around stone. I love this stuff. I use it in obviously all of our display aquariums as well. Looks absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for that like natural river rock stone, looks awesome. And then, of course, like it. we cannot forget the rods dun, freezer. Dun, 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 dun. All different types of food in here. Allie, you want to show everybody kind of what we got? going on so in the freezer. We have so much frozen food and unfortunately we're a little low on Rod's food, believe it or not, even though it's in the Rod's freezer. Rod, we need some more food. Send us some food. Uh, but we've got all sorts of really good food in here. Variety is key with your fish. You just want to keep that in mind. If you do decide that you just want to stick to frozen food, which is what I do because I think it's way better for your fish, um, you do have to remember to keep variety in mind. Variety is super important, just like if we decided that we just wanted to eat apples forever, which are really good for us, but if that's all we ever ate, we wouldn't be too healthy. So it works the same way with your fish. If you only decide to feed them brine shrimp forever, eventually they're going to be malnourished and not colorful and they're just not going to do very well. So we want to make sure we add some variety in there. So you always want to do several different types of food in their diet if you do decide to just do frozen food. If you do decide to mix in some of those Hikari foods that we had, like the pellets or the flakes, then you're usually pretty good. You can use this as a treat. But if you do want to do just this, you know, you could really mix it up, especially if you have saltwater fish. I have a ton of stuff. I got marine, mega marine, mega marine angel, mega marine algae. Mix them all together, get all sorts of food in there for your fish. Same with fresh water as well. You want to make Come sure on in get all that good nutrition. And take a look in the freezer. And maybe cool down a little bit. Oh. 
Scott's doing work. What I caught you, you doing work? <laughs> no. <laughs> you definitely didn't. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell if you want YouTube to alert you when we upload videos here from the store. And uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, drop a big thumbs up down in the comments below. Tell us what, what you, you want to see next. Huh? What do you think of the new store? Yeah, what do you think of the new store? What do you, you want to see next? Hit us up in the comments section. We'll comment back at you. And uh, Allie? Keep on reefing, baby. Keep it fresh. <laughs> I think we're done with the video. All right, do you know how it's going for now? Huh? Like right now, you're done with it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna edit how'd it right you, now. How'd so you finish it? With you. What? That's how you finished it? <laughs>